Well, hello, hello, hello. Look at who it is. It is I, Whimsy, the Oracle of Whimsy, first conceived in an ancient riverbed in a land far away from here. And we pray the rivers will return one day. But until they do, I'm here for about a half hour answering your questions. So let's get started. It looks like everybody has a ton of things they want to ask me. So I decided I would do a tarot card blitz. Things are heating up all over the place. You know what's so interesting is that uh, the technique I'm using, the heart-centered remote viewing technique, we follow energy to its most likely conclusion. If the, if the energy uh, continues to build, it will most likely go <clears throat> in this direction. We can't tell you how long that energy is gonna, it's gonna take for the energy to build and go into that direction. But you know, you go down into the deeper, meditative states and you can really uh, see some stuff. And, you know, th this brings up, up a really important point, which is how people will often uh, deep down think one thing and then they will live a life that's very, very different. Um, you know, how can, how can we become in, in, in touch with our authentic selves and uh, <clears throat> feel safe in this world? while doing so and i think that that's a really important question because uh it's something i have definitely thought about while i uh do this technique all right so people had a lot of questions for me uh starting with jelaine maxwell we will definitely take a look at jelaine they also wanted me to t take a look i'm sorry but i ate uh, heinz baked beans <laughs> they were delicious vegetarian but there's a bean in my throat. That was also Princess Diana's favorite dinner, Heinz baked beans. All right, so we're doing uh, uh, William Barr. We're doing the environment and the economy. Sound good? But before we do that, we'll do a general reading for the group just to see how everybody's doing and what uh, we can all do as a collective to help ourselves get through the next couple of weeks. So we're gonna start with a simple prayer as we always do, a nice generic prayer. If you're not a praying sort of person, you can skip this one out. All right, I wanna call on white light protection for myself and my viewers as we ask permission from spirit to access the Akashic records. We call on our spirit guides and our good angels to be with us. Give us the clarity and the wisdom that is needed to empower all of us on our journeys, to make the best decisions for ourselves, for our families, for the planet, for the people we love, for us to even help those we have strife with and to ease their pain. And together we say, Amen. So this brings up the teachings of Krishnamurti. Uh, Ramakrishna, Krishnamurti, um, about this idea that there are no others. There's, what, what, was it Ram? Was it was his name? No, not Krishnamurti. I, maybe it was Krishnamurti. He talked about the fact that there are no others. There is only the self. And what you do to others ultimately will come back to you because it's just one planet. And the sooner that we realize this, that there are no others, there is only the self, the happier we are all going to be. Now, if you meditate on that, that teaching, we can take a look at the American slaughterhouse, what's called meat processing plants uh, in the United States. And the fact that we did remote views months ago that showed that the animals could in fact become infected with COVID. Now that makes sense because COVID uh, is similar genetically to, uh, it is a SARS, which is an avian flu, uh, but also the avian flus can be transferred and, uh, to pigs and at that point it becomes swine flu. So what does this look like when we go into the remote? It looks like the FDA knew that the animals were infected. I think we discussed this in February, February 21st, I think we documented this. 
So the FDA knew that the animals were infected. They, the FDA and the processing plants knew that the workers were being exposed to infected animals. They knew that workers would die. And yet they told them nothing. What kind of legal recourse do the, do, the, do the families have, do the family of the victims have? That is something to really think about. But it, it also goes back to this idea, uh, uh, this teaching that what you do to others, you do to yourself, that the very same mentality that didn't care about the conditions of those animals probably doesn't care about the conditions of its employees. And that is the sad uh, situation we find ourselves in. All right, so now let's go in and give a general reading for everybody who is watching this. And this reading applies to you at the time you watch this video. My heart goes out to the families that uh, are working in those meat processing plants. Where we are at together as a group, we are fighting the good fight, but this is also the environmentalist card. He who defends the land. Seven of Wands is also the month of July. If you're reading like I read and you're looking for ideas about how to date things, wands are months, pentacles are weeks, swords can be years, if you choose to read them that way. Water is not, you're not able to read time with water. Water's like, eh, anybody's guess. But Seven of Wands is seven, uh, seven uh, months or the seventh month, which is July. And it's also to defend the land or to fight against uh, attacks from multiple sides. So that's kind of uh, the feeling uh, of the situation right now. But there's also this increasing feeling of uh, just uh, loneliness, isolation. I don't like the inverted hermit in the 11th house. But unfortunately, that's what we as a collective, uh, as a community, have to go through right now. This intense feeling of isolation and an intense feeling of defensiveness as if we have to, to uh, protect what we have. Uh, where we're at right now, desperately wanting to get out of a feeling of restriction, uh, what crosses us, concerns about money. The group is concerned that their harvest, possibly their uh, harvest, uh, their, uh, uh, you know, their IRA, their savings, what they have been uh, uh, living off of is starting to uh, potentially shrink. They're concerned about their uh, retirement specifically. People are also concerned about their health, their mortality. And here again is a frugality card. So we're really seeing a lot of concerns about money, mortality, health. It's a very scary time. And it could explain why we're getting this as our base, this feeling that everything is coming at us at once. The advice from Spirit is that business is not going to be as usual and that the sooner that people start to realize it, the better, that you will have to change the way you do business if you want to save your businesses. In the fourth house of Four of Swords, death to and hanging up. What? Action, reaction. In the fifth house is the Queen of Pentacles, one's business. So if we want our businesses to survive in this difficult time, we're going to have to change things. There's a feeling that people are also uh, experiencing poor judgment or trouble uh, getting grounded. And so in that case, it might be a really good idea to spend a little time just uh, taking off your shoes, walking on the grass, meditating, poor judgment or loss of judgment in the seventh house. And again, many of us in the group are concerned about our health, the hope and the fear, uh, no health, no healing, no recovery and concerns about the devil, that we are changed to a relationship or situation that puts us all at risk. Be careful about uh, too much uh, uh, caffeine, alcohol, drugs, overeating. I try and be in balance. I know people are bored, they're restless, they're scared, uh, but be careful that uh, we don't uh, fall into depression and bad habits. 
Now is the time to begin to let things go. If you have apologies you need to make, misunderstandings that have happened, now would be the time to call that person if they are willing to pick up the phone or write a letter and just clear the air. You know, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody was young once. We all have to grow and evolve uh, to the next uh, level. So uh, again, business, take care of one's business and be prepared for the changing times, like adapt to the changing times. This is a s interesting uh, idea about mental health is that one's ability to maintain homeostasis and balance and adapt even during difficult times is actually a sign of health. And so I think in this reading, it's really encouraging us. It's using a lot of imagery of grounding cards, uh, business cards, uh, the importance of loving ourselves, don't overindulge in drugs or alcohol, uh, try and be present, uh, clear up misunderstandings as best you can with uh, the people you love, uh, close out those chapters. This is a time that we all get our houses in order and uh, help one another. All right, so that is the group reading, and I hope it gave guidance to everyone. Now, we're going to move on to the next question we had, and that is people want to know about the future of Ghislaine Maxwell. Now, I did a brief remote on Ghislaine Maxwell and William Barr's concerns about Ghislaine Maxwell. And here is what the Fed's concerns are, and they're somewhat legitimate. They are concerned that she has talked or will be talking either to a foreign government or... Uh, to people in New York that information could be leaked about ongoing uh, operations, uh, foreign operations that she may have witnessed or been involved with. In plain words, the, how the feds were involved in compromising and getting dirt on certain individuals. And the, the argument from the feds, and this is what you're going to be hearing as this comes out, because it will come out and there will be a book, by the way, a, quite a powerful book, probably that she's going to give permission uh, to write. So... As far as the feds were concerned, uh, the first thing that they're saying is that they trivialized what, uh, in order to allow uh, him to do what he was doing, uh, uh, Jeffrey Epstein to do what he was doing, they, they, they kind of minimized and trivialized it. Well, he's, he's supplying prostitutes for wealthy men and he's giving us a little dirt and so we leave him alone. In plain words, there was this, the first phase of that was that there was this kind of, it's no big deal. And we see the same thing in Nepal, in India, where there's a lot of human trafficking, huge areas of human trafficking in Eastern Europe as well. That if you minimize and tri trivialize a crime, it's, and, and tell you, or, or, then it, you don't have to act upon the crime. And so unfortunately, that's part of what happened with the feds. The second thing I got from the remote was that William Barr was very concerned that uh, not just that ongoing investigations could be uh, at risk, but that people fail to understand that the, that the FBI, first off, trivialized what happened and did what they did because they thought that they were saving lives by collecting dirt. So <clears throat> that's the concern by Barr. He doesn't want Ghislaine Maxwell's private information about certain persons leave, not just to protect those persons, but because uh, of ongoing investigations. Okay, I think I've said that enough. <laughs> All right, what is going on with Ghislaine Maxwell? What is she doing? She is about to be arraigned. There she is, Three of Pentacles, and she's attempting to flee. So there's a concern about uh, 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 that she's a high flight risk. So, uh, but some kind of papers being presented possibly to the judge. She's a high flight risk. This is gonna be, uh, she's gonna have bail set at like millions. Uh, she's completely isolated. I don't see, she doesn't, she has lost many friends and many battles. Um, she has, she has documents that were left with her from Jeff, Jeffrey Epstein that the feds want. 
his private documents, uh, diaries, prove the junk that they were trying to get, the dirt on the people, she's got the copies. It's in her possession. That's the leak. No money, no honey, right? An inverted Knight of Cups. You don't make a deal with me, I don't make a deal with you. The documents are in a foreign country. It is safe and secure. This foreign government might, might or might not know about it. You touch me, you don't get documents. C'est la vie. An inverted Knight of Cups is somebody refusing to make a deal. Um, chain to the devil. She could be taken out of prison by higher authorities or possibly a foreign government. Somebody comes in and look at this. She either makes bail, something happens. She may be getting released. Nobody's happy with me right now. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, she might have a female judge. She used poor judgment. She's concerned that she's going to lose. I think uh, I think uh, if she, it comes out that she's a, a legitimate spy for a foreign government that's an ally government, then we would have to release her. And that could be what's going on. And that could be what Barr is negotiating. In plain words, if a, if a spy from Britain gets caught doing something they shouldn't be doing in order to get co compromised and they're working with the CIA, then and it's very, very high secret, it's their job to go in and get the person to back to Britain or Israel or whichever country it was. So there's something about, they wanna fold up this chapter, they wanna uh, get rid of this, get rid of the documents and everything because the problem with Ghislaine Maxwell is that uh, she holds uh, considerable documents that uh, are, uh, international uh put they're internationally uh put a lot of people at risk internationally okay oh so, so the next one is william barr the future of william barr how are we doing on time we don't know. the future of william barr that was interesting about Ghislaine maxwell wasn't it hmm Lane Maxwell, whoo, and William Barr, look at that. This is her card, this is his card. He could lose control of this situation with her. He's trying, this is a very explosive, dangerous situation because she's got some dirt. Not good. Barr's going to lose this thing. Dang, look at that. Ace of Wands inverted with an inverted sun. She's got, that's basically, that's the remote. She's got documents in a foreign government. Uh, I'm going to let everybody know that I have worked, for, I, I have a, I have clearance with the CIA. If you don't get me the hell out of here, I'm going to make your life pretty damn miserable. There we go. The business card. She's walking away. She's a CIA op. She was an informant. So she was, she had clearance probably from multiple intelligence agencies. The, uh, the United States, Britain, probably Israel. She was, and she was wheeling and dealing back and forth, collecting contraband for uh, ally countries. So now she's saved everything and it's, as she said, in a foreign government. And so William Barr has, it, they have to get her out of there. And he knows it. I feel like it's a movie, but nobody would believe it. All right, so we're gonna look at the economy and the environment. Would anyone believe this movie? It has to be like Game of Thrones. Like they have to do the Trump story, but it has to be like Game of Thrones and it has to go on for years, just episode after episode. <laughs> meltdown after meltdown. <laughs> and people would be like, this is really 
a little overly dramatic. <sighs> I'm feeling pretty good. Yes, social programs opening up in August. So we see a change in the GOP by August. Oh my, it's a new softer side of the GOP. It's like, where you been all my life, honey? Uh, you know that mean, horrible, cruel, awful GOP? By August, Come, Mr. Taliban, they are just handing you money. They think you're their new best friend. All is forgiven, whatever you want. Offering the healing cup. They're on board. Money, they're gonna be dumping the money. Money! We could be seeing more relief checks. They're gonna be extending offers, promising things when it comes to social security. American people aren't buying it. This is so much fun. <laughs> they used poor judgment. They lost their base. Look at that. <laughs> the cup. <laughs> the marriage is over and the star will reign. <laughs> Clarification. Time of Yehuda, the perfect judge. The time of Kali, angry queen of wands. We're gonna start seeing a lot of anger. Be careful, ladies. Take it out at the gym, you know? Don't don't hurt anybody. Or or march. Marching is good. Hopes and fears will be the economy in the coming days. And the final outcome is a new green economy. Definitely, definitely. Clarification. There is a seasoned queen coming. This is going to be the VP, possibly a, a, a woman with gray hair, older. Um, she's the seasoned queen and she uh, brings justice uh, and she's going to be our VP. Could be, uh, this has nothing to do with race. It has to do with characteristics and energy of the person. So, you know, Val Demings, uh, uh, Susan Rice, Elizabeth Warren, you know, would be the older candidates. It's that kind of an energy. This this wise queen who uh, who uh, leads with wisdom. All right, my friends, thanks for watching. It was uh, great doing readings with you. Be sure and share, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.